Hello everyone, I'm back. I'm gonna read a diary. This is part... Oh, this is part nine. I know where Jericho is, Jericho is, I know where it is. Let's do this. Let's do it. This is coming. Yep. Don't play Dover in a while. Alice. Family. Lisa. Trust it. Alice in the back of Some music instead. Are you doing all for? Are you doing all this? They've been conducting raids all over the city. Everybody's on edge after what happened yesterday. Be all right. We're almost there. I thought we were just having a hug. A little further on that way, there's a large freighter called Jericho. When you get there, find Marcus. He will help you. The last bus for the border leaves at midnight. You absolutely have to be on it. You'll be safer on the other side. It's not much, but it's a start. My brother lives in Ontario. I've given you his address. He'll be able to hide you until things calm down. You're a very brave little girl, Alice. You deserve to be happy. Thank you for everything, Rose. Let me know when you make it over there, all right? And be careful. Take care of them. Come on, girls. You better not hang around. Yep. What's the catch? Alright, we're going somewhere.
schools are closing, water cuts, blackouts, and network failures are expected. Maybe most worrying of all, our armed forces have lost two thirds of their effective personnel to the consistent of specialized Android models. We've got to find a warm place for Alice. Is extremely alarming. They're conducting great It's them or us. We've got to destroy these bastards before they kill us. We've got to do something. How do you feel? I'm hot and cold at the same time. Stay with her. I'll try to find this Marcus. The last bus is in two hours. And the terminal's on the other side of town. We haven't got much time. We'll leave as soon as we have passports. Carol. There's something I have to tell you. It's about Alice. We'll have lots of time to talk on the bus. I'll be back. Stay with Alice. Oh my god, why is he... Why is she keep ghosting him? I'm with a little girl and another android. There's a bus leaving for the border in less than two hours, and we need passports. No, Detroit's under curfew. There's soldiers everywhere. They're rounding up all the androids and sending them to camps. Maybe you should stay here a while. Maybe you're right. You might be safer here until things calm down. One of our people used to work in the State Department. He has electronic passports he can easily modify. I'll have him get them to you. Thank you. Woof, woof. You said you're with a little girl, right? You know that humans hate us. Why are you protecting her? I don't care whether she's human or android. She's just someone who matters to me. What now? Who was that? I want to find Connor.
others. Actually, no. Actually, no. What? What did? What did I say episodes ago? Did I or did I not say she's an android? What difference does it make? Do you love her anymore? What did I say? I said, what if she's just an android? You know? Did Did I not say that? I remember saying. Oh, that might be an android. You know? Oh. So how? You are, to how she feel pain? How she feel cold? So androids do feel hot and cold. Hmm, noted. Um, this is a big bomb to be dropped on me. Kara, is there something wrong? Together forever, won't we, Kara? Yes. They just want friendly, I say. You're a robot! Just like me! Yeah, Luther's family. Good, good, good. We're one big thing. We're one big family. We're short on blue blood and bio components. Our wounded are shutting down and there's nothing we can do. President Warren is saying we're a threat to national security and we need to be exterminated. Humans are conducting raids in all the big cities and they're taking androids to camps to destroy them. It's a disaster. They're slaughtering our people. It's all our fault. None of this would have happened if we just stayed quiet. All we did was show them who we really are. I don't want war, but I'd rather die free than live as a slave. It was a peaceful march and you chose to attack. Now hundreds of humans and androids are dead. You reap what you sow. Humans enslaved us. I'll never regret standing up to that. We shouldn't forget who our enemies are. We can't fight amongst ourselves. He's right. All that matters now is what we do next. Marcus? We have to face them. There's no other choice. This is insanity. Get all the guns that you can find. We're going to free Detroit. I'm on it. You're making a mistake, Marcus. You won't buy our freedom with blood. You will. If there's no humans, then what humans are there to enslave us? They've been butchering each other for centuries up to the color of their skin or whatever god they wanted to worship. They're not gonna change. Violence is just in their genes. They can't stop what we've started. Since you've been here, you've given us hope. 
You've given me hope. Today, a deviant arrived in Jericho and he told me that he stole a truck transporting radioactive cobalt. He said that he abandoned the truck somewhere in Detroit and rigged it to explode. I convinced him not to do it. To give me the detonator. A dirty ball. We can't lose this war, Marcus. If humans overcome us, our people will disappear forever. This may be our only chance to survive if things go wrong. I just hope we never have to use it. Whatever happens tomorrow, I just want you to know that I I'm glad I met you. join the others. Marcus has been watching too many love documentaries. Look after yourself. I don't want to lose you. Marcus is a player. He's a player of the game. Just like me, I'm playing him. I chose that to. You know, Marcus wouldn't have her as a lover if it doesn't come. Succeeded in locating Jericho and finding their leader. Now deal with Marcus. We need it alive. Now deal with Marcus. Ah! I'm in order to take you alive. But I won't hesitate to shoot if you give me no choice. Yes, you can shoot me. But it won't change anything. Someone else will just take my place. You see, our people are waking up. And nothing can stop us now. You're coming with me! You're Connor, aren't you? That famous deviant hunter. Well, congratulations. You seem to have found what you were looking for. Our cause is righteous and we are more than what they say. All we want is to live in freedom. Never have any doubts. You've never done something irrational, as if there's something inside you, something more than your program. Join us. Join your people. You are one of us. Listen to your conscience. It's time to decide. I wish I could join. Nice try, but I'm no deviant. I'm just shot him there and then. Pew pew. Two to the queen. What's going on, Cap? Quick, we've got. 
got to get out of here. Oh, so good. How? How do they have a location? It's on the second and third floor. Find them and jump in the river. We have to blow up Jericho. If the ship goes down, they'll evacuate, and our people can escape. You'll never make it. The explosives are all the way down in the hold. There are soldiers everywhere. Go and help the others. I'll join you later. Marcus. I won't be long. We'll do that for your tentacle head. I'm just gonna call you Medusa because you have snakes as well. Bodyguard here. Don't let it get out. If they give you any trouble at all. Affirmative, welcome. I don't want to be there. On your side. With us? Are you a human? Uh. 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 
Join you later. I thought I could have run. My mission is to neutralize you, and I always accomplish my mission. And my mission is to save our species. Looks like only one of us can succeed. gonna explode any second. We gotta get out of here. It's too late, Marcus. There's nothing we can do for her. We've gotta run.
detonated explosive in the hole. The ship is sinking, sir. Let's need to evacuate. Calling all units. Abandon ship and evacuate immediately. Is it over, Marcus? So there's an option where Kara lives. Why is this by Who are you? How did you get in? I need to see Carl. Carl isn't seeing anyone. You need to leave. Please. I need to see him. He's very weak. I'm not sure he'll be able to talk to you. That man's probably gonna have a cardiac arrest when he sees me walking. Carl. Oh, Marcus. Hey. I was hoping you'd come. I miss you so much, Carl. You don't know how much I miss you. What's wrong? free, but instead I've led all of them to disaster. Carl, I'm trying to find answers, but everything around me is falling apart. World's ruled by fear, Marcus. Fear of others. Fear of the future. It's like me, too old. It's time for a damn. I don't want bloodshed, no matter the color. But I can't let them slaughter my people. I have to make a decision that's going to affect millions of lives. And I'm telling you, I don't know what to do. You're my son, Marcus. Our blood isn't the same color. But I know part of me is in you. When the world 
falls in the darkness, some men have the courage to lead it out. You're one of those men. Face the abyss, but don't let it consume you. The previous Connor failed its mission. You're going to replace it. You know what you have to do, don't you? Destroy the leader of the Deviants. Go, Connor. Don't disappoint me. They say they don't want to take any risks with the deviants. So they're rounding our people up and taking them to the camps for extermination. In a few hours, we're going to be the only ones left. The army built five different camps in the Detroit area. They're building more all across the country. They're preparing for a genocide. How many of us survived the attack? A few hundred. Maybe more if you count those hiding all over the city. If you hadn't triggered the bomb, we'd all be dead. In a few hours, it'll all be over. We'll have changed the world, or the world will have destroyed us. You have to make a choice, Marcus. But whatever you choose, we will follow you. I love you, Marcus. Our people are counting on you, Marcus. You're the only one who can lead us. Wherever you need to go, we'll follow you. 
Just by sitting next to him, he likes me more. Jerry, is it? No, I thought it was a Jerry. What's that to me? What's that to the door left of the factory? It's like something out of an old watch. If it weren't for you, I'd be dead. Thanks to you, I might see our people free one day. You and I haven't always agreed, but I know that we're fighting for the same thing. Whatever you decide, I'm with you, Marcus. I want all human dead. Except from myself. Because I don't want myself dead. Humans have decided Butcher. to exterminate us. Our people are packed in camps right now, being destroyed. Time has come to make a choice. One that very well may determine the future of our people. Now, if they want war, They'll get it. We are going to fight for our freedom, and we will succeed or Gosh, die. I you as my are you ready to follow me? Gosh, I saved your life. Are you dislike me? Right, so I'll figure it out. I figured something out. Do you wanna know what I figured out? Connor is representing the police taking them down. Marcus is well representing like leaders. And Kara's representing just normal people. Normal androids. At 6 a.m. this morning, a national curfew was declared. Civilian movement will be strictly controlled. The right to assembly is suspended. All electronic communications are restricted, and I have granted enhanced powers to our security agencies. In addition to these measures, all androids must be handed over to the authorities immediately. Temporary camps are being set up in all our major cities to contain and destroy them. I am now asking all civilians to cooperate with the authorities and rest assured that everything in our power is being done to guarantee the security of our nation. Madam President! Please! A convoy of medical cobalt is reported missing. Army weapon stores are also said to have been robbed. Can you confirm these reports? I have no information on that at this time. Madam President! Is it true that the androids could hack our IT systems, like nuclear power plants and military bases? All androids working on sensitive sites have been neutralized, and all IT systems have been suspended to avoid any risks of hacking. The situation is under control. Please! Has the leader of the Deviants been apprehended? The Deviant that is known as Marcus has not been located yet, but we will soon track it down and neutralize it. 
Please? Over here, please? Madam President! Please! What can you tell us about the assault that happened last night? The FBI raided an abandoned freighter in Detroit at 10.45 p.m. yesterday. Several thousand androids were destroyed or captured. Our forces are now combing the streets to ensure that none got through the net. We are going to find them one by one and destroy them. Thank you. That will be all. Why has he got a red light? Let's do this. They won't we will we'll do it to them. No, I've got to help you down because it's a massive jump. Big jump. Hands on your heads. Whoa, I'm scared. Whoa. <laughs> Okay, can I walk? That's your last warning. Next time it's a bullet. The police in here. You first. You really need to do this. Just do it for me, please. I'll come in behind you. Come on, it's your turn. My turn. Recycle area, do you have to like? Do you get destroyed? Yeah. Why are they white? Peel the skin off or something. Deactivate your skin. Hurry up. So, what? Mind reader. Bald. You're an android. Strip off. Put your clothes in the dumpster.
Come on, this way. Get a move on. Imagine rocking up to school like this. Today, November 11, 2038, is the day the android people rose up against their oppressors. We've been fighting since dawn to liberate our fellow androids from the camp. Oh, is it because, like, World War II? We won't cease hostilities until is we are the same free. time as World War II? Is that negotiations one? begin to grant us equal rights. There are millions of us, and we will stop at nothing. Oh, we can't spin. It's a long briefcase, what's he got in there? Fucking sniper rifle or some shit. Don't pull the trigger. You shouldn't do this, Connor. Yeah, you shouldn't do this. Keep out of this, Lieutenant. It's none of your business. If you're gonna kill a man who wants to be free, that is my business. It's not a man. It's a machine. That's what I thought for a long time, but I was wrong. Deviant's blood may be a different color than mine. But they're alive. I have a mission to accomplish, Hank. It's best if you just stay out of this. Step away from the ledge. Mm -hmm. 
After all we've been through. I respected you, Hank. I thought we were friends. Oh, yeah, I was just starting to like you, too. But then I realized you never change. You don't feel emotions, Connie. You fake them. You pretended to be my friend when you don't even know the meaning of the word. What are you gonna do, Hank? You gonna shoot me? I thought android lives mattered to you. Get away from the fucking ledge. You know I'll shoot you if I have to. I don't mean that hang. You know, Hank's actually going for a good thing. I don't want to kill him. Anymore. Get him, get him! Get him! I'm just doing this because... I'm doing the less threatening option. Shouldn't have tried. <gasps> at least the guns damage, at least. The 